some equations are actually easier to solve just by finding the square roots than they are to graph or to run through the quadratic formula. And um, in the other video, we did uh, a couple of examples of uh, questions from the text that you're working on. Here I have a question that was sent in by a young man named Andres, who was uh, having some trouble with this uh, this equation right here, 2x squared equals 48, and he was supposed to find, using the square root procedure, what the roots of this one are. He says he was able to get down to the last part of the problem, but he got stuck. So let's see if we can figure out what, what was going on there, and we'll walk through the steps for solving a problem like this along the way. So starting off, uh, first thing I would do here is get rid of this 2. We have 2x squared equals 48, so let's get rid of that 2 first. So we'll divide both sides by 2, and that'll cancel here. Divide this by 2 and we'll get x squared equals 24. Now we need to take the square root of both sides because we don't want to know what x squared is. We want to know what x equals. So the square root of x squared, that square root and square will cancel. And we'll just get x equals the positive and negative square roots of 24. And if I'm not mistaken, this is probably where Andres got stuck. Um, and what we need to do here, this is technically the right answer. These are the two uh, x-intercepts or the two solutions for this particular equation. But we can simplify this, uh, this expression right here, this square root of 24, by breaking that 24 apart. The, the square root of 24 would be the same thing as the square root of 6 times 4, because 6 times 4 is 24. And that would be the same thing as the square root of 6 times the square root of 4. Now, we don't know the square root of 6. It's still not even. But we do know the square root of 4. The square root of 4 is 2. So I could rewrite this then. This is the same thing as 2 times the square root of 6. And that, I'm guessing, is probably what he had in his book that didn't look like square root of 24. But that would give his answer as the positive and negative 2 square roots of 6. So I'm guessing that's probably what you need there, Andres. Let's see if we can do another example here um, that's similar, just for a little bit of practice. Make a little space for ourselves here. Let's try um, 4y squared equals 64. Yeah. So again, very similar. First thing we'll do is divide both sides by 4 both sides by 4. 4's cancel. We get y squared equals 64 divided by 4. Well, half of 64 is 32, and half of that is 16. So that gives us y squared equals 16. Now we just take the square root of both sides, and we get the square root of y squared, which is just y, and that's equal to the square root of 16, which is positive and negative 4. So you can see, once you get the idea, these are actually not terribly difficult problems. Just recognize that you generally, at least, should have two answers, a positive and a negative answer. Um, and the exceptions to that would be if you ended up with a negative root, which doesn't have any, or the root of 0, which is just 0 and there's only one answer. Most of the time, you will find that you'll come up with two answers. And just make sure that you cancel out any other terms, um, for instance, coefficients of your of your squared term beforehand because it'll make it a whole lot easier to find your, your solutions in the end.